Richard William Dick Dowling, the victorious commander at the Second Battle of Sabine Pass, was born in Ireland in 1838 and immigrated to New Orleans with his family in 1846. After an 1853 yellow fever epidemic in New Orleans took the life of his parents and four of his six siblings, Dowling moved to Houston, where he established a chain of successful saloons. In October 1857, he opened the Shade Saloon, and later that year he married Elizabeth Ann Odlum, daughter of Benjamin Digby Odlum, a fellow Irishman who was a veteran of the Texas Revolution and a member of the Republic of Texas Congress. In addition to a number of successful saloons, Dowling played a part in setting up Houston's first gaslight company. He was involved in running the city's first streetcar company and was a founding member of Houston's first volunteer fire department, the Houston Hook and Ladder Company, number one. At the outbreak of the Civil War, Dowling joined the Jefferson Davis Guards, a unit comprised mainly of Irish dock workers. On January 21, 1863, as artillery commander aboard the steamer Josiah H. Bell, he took part in a two-hour naval engagement on the Sabine River, resulting in a Confederate victory over two United States vessels, in part because of his accuracy with the 8-inch Columbia gun which he commanded. Later that year, Lieutenant Dowling and his company transferred to Fort Griffin at Sabine Pass. On September 8, 1863, the United States forces attacked Fort Griffin in what became known as the Second Battle of Sabine Pass. Dowling directed such intense and accurate fire from his guns that two of the United States gunboats, the Clifton and the Sachem, were disabled, and the remaining Federal vessels withdrew. As a result of Dowling's leadership, he and his men overcame the invasion, capturing two ships and over 300 prisoners without a single Confederate casualty. Dowling served as a recruiting officer for the Confederacy throughout the remainder of the Civil War, and after the war, he returned to Houston to manage his businesses. On September 23, 1867, he succumbed to yellow fever, the same disease that took the lives of his family decades before. Survived by his wife and two children, Dowling was buried in St. Vincent's Cemetery in Houston. A statue of Dowling, commissioned in 1905, stands in Houston's Herman Park.